Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Well, I've had requests for an update on the security camera series I made about two years ago in regards to my neighbor watching my property and the laser light setup countermeasures that I put in. So I thought today'd be a good day to get together and discuss these issues. Well, to be frank, some things have changed and some things haven't. In fact, there is a twist that you will not believe near the end of this video that proves that I am the good guy through all of this crap. But I'd like to start out with the biggest question people have asked me all the way along the way. What the heck precipitated all this going on? And you know what? You're looking at it right behind me. The neighbors, including this guy, for over a decade have done everything they can to chase me and my micro wind turbines out of town. As I continue to try to go green and help people go green and help the country and the planet, this is what this fight has been about. And after years and years of false police reports, false criminal and civil prosecutions that have failed to chase me out of town, they put up the security cameras as one last ditch effort in an attempt to harass me and make me want to move. Don't believe me? All you got to do is search Turbine and Orno, O-R-O-N-O, -O, where I live, and you will have multiple sources come up that you can read and find out what I'm telling you is a fact. Well, what's the same? We still got these cameras sitting out here aimed where they were. And I've still got my well, flag's almost dead, but other rotational devices to trigger the camera, and I've still got a radio going. Now, I had to switch it out because the other one wasn't working anymore but this one i decided to give them a nice little south of the border entertainment for a few days here i do know that this radio bothers him because he whined in court how terrible it is when he sits in his office in that window right there that he has to hear the radio as if for some reason the radio is more intrusive than the cameras he's got blanketing our property but what we can see on this camera is when he painted the house he dripped all over the camera. So either that dripping is out of sight or maybe it's a dummy camera. Maybe they're all dummies. Well, the lasers I employed as countermeasures over 18 months ago are still up running and blinding his cameras. These are 120 volt AC plugged into the wall. This particular unit is a circle with a dot. And I got that dot going right into the middle of that camera to blind it. But secondly, I have another camera over here, which isn't working anymore. It went out a few months ago in the winter when the security box got full of water, this bag did. So I opened it up, it worked for a while, but now it doesn't want to anymore. Many people keep bringing up that lasers are illegal. Maybe in some places they are, but not here. I got them pointed right into his camera. I have seen the police report he filed complaining about it, and the cops did nothing. Which only makes sense because they're the ones who told them to put the cameras in in the first place. So they're kind of the instigators. At least they decided to stay out of it after that. Hey, before the turbine guy responds to the most common comments in the video series, I just wanted to talk about the comments for a quick minute. You know, whatever happened to good taste? Why can't people make a point without being rude and crude? Well, pretty much because they don't have a point. So, you know, I do delete a lot of those because these here are some of the tamer ones that come through. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff I've been called. But I don't take it personally. I know when someone does that, that's their own problem and that's who they are. It's not who I am. For instance, I've had plenty, plenty of good comments and plenty of supportive comments come through. And you can read through and find them just like this from infamous infidel comments. Going through this now, so infuriating. Thanks for the video. I'm looking at purchasing a few. Uh, another comment. Turbine guy. Wow. That's pretty cool. I hope this never happens to me, but it's good to know just in case. I have plenty of comments where people are happy that they have an opportunity to do something to protect themselves. Then you run into comments like this. Daffy Big Bear. Boy, the, n nice name, by the way. Both of you are effing immature morons. Well, that's a very mature way to say that i suppose and then samson osborne you are a effing nut job yeah if i was your neighbor i'd put floodlights into your window every evening because you're a f twat okay well i guess i get his point point. and then brett 
Last comment, you're making, uh, you're making a fool of yourself for making this video. As long as the cameras don't aim into your home where you would expect privacy, then I'm sure he's well within his, and I'm pretty sure I was going to say rights. Sure, he's within his rights to do that. And unfortunately, the courts of this state and others have long established that it's A-OK -okay to record and peek on your neighbor's privacy in their yard. And I know people call it not privacy, but give me a break. People kind of want to be left alone. When they're out in their yard with their family or their friends, do you really think they want to be recorded 24-7? So to me, monitoring your neighbor 24-7, even though the courts say it's okay, is just not the right thing to do. So that's my issue is, hey, how about after a decade of chasing me and my turbine here, you just kind of look the other way for a while so we can get along. Another very common comment is that for some reason I'm paranoid and it's not all about me. Well, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. And this is a great example because both people next door testified on the witness stand that yeah, those cameras are there to watch me. So I'm right on the mark with that. Not only that, if you look at this diagram, how they're set up, you can see that all three cameras have a field of view that blankets my property and doesn't look the other way and doesn't watch your front door. So these cameras, the way they're set up, are obviously there just to monitor our property 24-7. And as for me being lucky to have the cameras aimed over here in case I need them for a break-in or something, well, the turbine guy doesn't need his kind of help because I have my own camera system and I have them aimed at my property like a good neighbor does. And my favorite comment or question that I tell my wife about and all she does is laugh when I bring it up when someone says it again. And you know, many times in a not very nice way as if I'm some kind of jerk who couldn't think of this for myself. Okay, but I'll tell you, I have thought about it. The most common comment and question is, well, gee, have you tried talking to him? <laughs> yeah, many times. I even, a year or so ago, talked to his adult son who was over, called him over and said, hey, let's sit down and have some lunch. Let's talk about this. Let's resolve some issues. I don't want to go to court with you. I don't want to make this hard. Well, okay. So he said, no problem. So he gave me his email. I sent him an email a few days later. And he replied, well, I've been told that I can't meet with you. There you go, folks. I'm trying, okay? You can't talk to someone who doesn't want to. Do you know how bad it is? You really know how bad it is? A year ago, this guy was over here. He had a ladder right on that deck, leaning against the house, and he was climbing it, doing something up on the eave. And I was in the house, and I heard a ladder fall. And I wasn't sure what it was. But after a couple of seconds, I got up and I ran over to the door that we have right here. And I looked out and there he was lying on his back, out cold, ladder on the ground. And his wife had come out and she had just started pumping his arms left and right. I mean, up and down and up and sideways, back and forth. She was pumping away. First thing I did, I ran and I got this phone right here and I dialed me up 911. And I said, we got a guy, maybe had a heart attack, fell off a ladder. You got to get here right away. I got the address and they got here right away. And they got him to the hospital and then they saved his life, which I was instrumental in helping. I was so instrumental that she came over and thanked my wife for helping save his life. Now, why neither of these can man up or woman up and have enough guts to come thank me for saving his life I'm not sure, but just several months after that, when I was in court trying to deal with these cameras, they both went to court and lied. You know what? I don't have their character. I saved his life, you know, and I guess I probably end up doing it again because that's just who I am. No matter what this guy's done over the last decade to try to chase me out of town. Well, however tricky my neighbor might think he is if those cameras are fake, the countermeasures are driving him nuts, and I know that through the police report we talked about and other areas that he's just not happy with countermeasures, people reacting to his aggressive behavior. I tell you, if he wanted to talk, like I've tried, if he wanted to sit down and figure this out and de-escalate, I've always been more than willing to do that. Heck, like I said, I saved the guy's life. But no good deed goes unpunished. So here we are a year and a half, two years later. The same situation 
and nobody's happy about it. Turbine Guy, signing off.